Today we are going to consider two ways of uh, setting up custom probes uh, in uh, PicoScope software. Uh, we are going to use an example a 100 psi pressure transducer. Uh, the one that you can get on eBay will probably be a sealed gauge type, uh, which measures pressure relative to one atmosphere. And uh, so the atmospheric pressure would correspond to zero psi. That will give you 0.5 volts on the output, and 100 psi will give you 4.5 volts output. In PicoScope software, you will need to go to Tools, Custom Probes, uh, then specify a new probe, and in the dialog, enter the custom unit, which is PSI in our case. Then you will have two options. You will either specify an equation or you will specify a lookup table uh, to set up your custom probe. We will consider both ways. But before that, we will need to do some calculations. So we see that uh, the 100 psi pressure transducer uh, for the 100 psi pressure differential uh, will give us 4 volts voltage differential. So let's write that down. The difference in 100 psi will give us 4 volts difference. That will mean that the sensitivity of our uh, pressure transducer is 40 millivolts per psi. To establish that all we need to do is to divide 4 volts by 100 psi. Conversely, it means 25 psi per volt. All I did was just to invert this relationship. This will allow us to set up a formula. If x is my voltage, then my pressure is going to be my sensitivity, 25 psi for each volt, multiply by the amount of voltage exceeding 0 0.5 volts. And this give us the formula. From the point of mathematics, we have our formula, but we cannot use it in the picoscope just yet. If we take a look at the dialog, it expects us to uh, provide coefficient for x and the offset separately. Um, and so we need to rearrange our formula just a little bit. We will need to expand the expression and write it in the following, fo following way. So we have a coefficient for x, which is called the gradient in picoscope terms. And then uh, the offset, which is 25 multiplied by 0.5, will give us the offset. One last thing that we need to do uh, is to uh, find the bottom uh, of our pressure range. And this is done in the following way. Suppose that we are um, assume that our lowest voltage uh, that our pressure transducer will reliably produce is let's say 0.1 volt and if we put that into this formula and do the calculation we will get minus 10 psi so we will consider minus 10 psi as our the bottom of our range okay so now we have the formula and we have the pressure range minus 10 to 100 psi we are ready to put that in into picoscope software all i'm doing right now is just putting those values into the box so for the gradient i have 25 and for the offset i have minus 12 0.5 psi and then I'll click next. The 
Next dialog is the range management and this is where it gets confusing. The recommended setting that lets the software manage the ranges automatically has a bug in it and uh, this is uh, happening in the Picoscope uh, version 6.12.9 and so until uh, the uh, developers fix that bug you I don't recommend using this option so instead we are going to use advanced and manage the custom probe ranges manually so let's uh, define a new range where we will use a minus 10 psi as our minimum and 100 psi as our maximum and another range minus 10 psi to 30 psi And uh, you can uh, define a few other ranges, maybe minus 10 to 10 psi, but really this should cover quite a bit of what you need. So I'll uh, stay with those ranges. And no filtering for this one. For the name of the probe, I will just uh, write down that it's a pressure transducer 100. PSI and we are going to use a formula so I'll specify that way too so that's it our new probe is in the library and we are ready to use it okay we are ready now to uh, check our custom probe and for that we are going to use the wave generator in the demo version of the program so we will set up a channel A to have uh, amplitude uh, of 1 volt and offset of 1 volt as well. This will give us a signal between 0 and, 10 vol uh, 0 and 2 volts. So we can check that on channel A that this is exactly what we are going to have. Signal between 0 and 2 volts. But now we are going to uh, use not the voltage but the PSI probe and we'll first uh, check what happens when we use minus 10 to 100 PSI input range and so we can see that it goes between minus 10 PSI to about 35 PSI and this is uh, as expected We can also test minus 10 to 30 psi. Obviously, we are going to have a channel over range because 2 volts will correspond to values that are higher than 30 psi. Nevertheless, the probe works just as you want it to work. The last thing I would uh, like to set up a custom probe using uh, the lookup table and show that we are going to get exactly the same probe values. So this time I'm going to use a lookup table and create a lookup table instead and all I need to do is to put in the values that we know correspond to our uh, pressure transducer and remember that would mean that 0.1 volt corresponds to minus 10 psi, uh, 0.5 volt corresponds to 0 psi and 4.5 volt correspond to 100 psi. That's the lookup table and I'm going to click OK and next. Again the recommended setting has a bug for the range management so I will set up the ranges myself 
just the same way as I did for the uh, formula. So two ranges, one is from minus 10 to 100 psi and another one from minus 10 to 30 psi. I'm going to name the pressure transducer 100 psi lookup table L U T. And so now I have another custom probe in the library that I'm going to uh, set up on channel B. Okay, so what I did now is I have a wave generator for channel A and B generating the same signal. 1 kilohertz, 1 amplitude, 1 volt amplitude, 1 volt offset. So for A and for B, these are the same values. And I'm going to set the probe for channel B to pressure transducer 100 psi lookup table minus 10 to 100 psi range. And uh, let's just uh, let it run. So let's uh, separate the signals a little bit so that we can have a better look at it. And we see that they are essentially the same. And we can actually just uh, completely uh, merge them. So they are the same signals. It's uh, the same custom probe, basically, even though we use two different methods to set them up. And the same thing happens when we switch to minus 10 to 30 psi. It's the same values that are being produced by the custom probes. So that's basically it for this experiment. Uh, two things that are important is to set up the formula correctly and this is the, was the first part of the preparatory work that we did. And the second part is to put the numbers correctly into the Picoscope dialogs and set up the ranges manually.